Hello, go hello, um, YouTubers. This is Gold Leader with another tutorial for YouTube. I got request after request after request. How to do masking and like say, uh, uh, you say you wanted to do. There's two ways you can do this. Actually, there's tons more, but um, here's an example. You should see something coming down. Uh, I think a noise texture from Sony Vegas 9 Pro, and this is just one of the noise textures they have. Um, for Sony Vegas 9 Pro. Excuse me. And as you can see, um, it's just a mask, a simple mask. It's covering the video you see now, only part of it. It's only covering part of it. That's what it basically is. It's either, let's say this is a, your hand's a picture, and you cut a square in here. What do you have? You have a hole. So, the picture or whatever you put behind the video will show through. Kind of like this. If you would have, if you would have did this, if you see these two pictures right here, we can put a mask between these two pictures. Um, you can put anything you want, really. You can put a sun. You can put anything you want. Let's put, uh, let's see, maybe clouds or blood cells or something like that of, of that matter. Let's do that right now. And you can see this is simple masking and keyframing. Um, mostly masking more than keyframing, but keyframing is an important tool you do need to know. And keyframing will be done probably maybe uh, tomorrow or today, probably maybe at uh, 10 or 11. Um, the time is now is 9 or 2. Um, so we're going to go to my editing suite, well, not my editing suite, we're going to go to Sony Vegas Pro 9 editing suite and see how we do this effect with Sony Vegas Pro 9. Alright, welcome back. Um, to record the screen, I'm using um, Camtasia Studio 7 as a, as 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 an editing software. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 9. Alright, again, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 9 to do this. And as you can see, I've already this is my I just rendered this video, so you would see this. Um, so let's get rid of these and show you actually how to do it step by step. Um, first, dragging your footage, and you're gonna need you might not need two tracks, but get two tracks out anyway. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, we're going to go to the project media. I'm sorry, the uh, media generators, and click on noise textures, and then click on soft clouds, and we drag it into the clip. And we drag that to fit. And we animate it by uh, clicking the node here, and then putting all the way to the end, and then moving the uh, slidey thing here with the offset X to about maybe there. And you can see it will it will you move. It, you hear my voice. Um, it will move to fit the other ones. Okay, um, it was for the other ones. So let's mute that. Move. As you can see it moves. All right, to get it to a certain spot or to actually to keyframe it out to fit on the to fit on these pictures or anything you want. You can use it on anything. You can you can use a picture. You can use um, another clip you made, uh, another video you made. You can use an animation. Doesn't really matter. Um, so to do that, you go to the event pen and crop, and then you click on. Uh, you make sure you check um, the mask. And if you don't have the mask, I think uh, I know uh, six. i probably six has it. Sony Vegas six. If you don't have a um, event pen and crop or a mask, you can use a Sony cookie cutter to do this. I believe. Um, so to do mask, you left click, left click, actually left click more. Left click, left click, left click, and do it as many times as you have to, to fit the, oh, that's big, to the to fit the um thing. So if you try to, if you press a control on your keyboard, you move it, it's not gonna really, the nodes are not moving individually. So you left click on the interface and click deselect, and you select, deselect all, and then you press control again on the node you want to move, and move it up to the to cover the picture or whatever you're trying to cover. 
And it's important not to not to move yourself when you're filming this. Don't move in between the masks because it's going to cut off whatever you you go in. So don't cut off. Don't go into the uh, the mask unless um, actually unless you want to mask yourself out, which is kind of tedious and kind of annoying. So try not to go between the masks. As we move the the indiv individual nodes to cover the the uh, picture, we see we're almost done. Just a few more tweaks, and we're done. All right, that's good. Um, maybe a bit more down. All right, once you're done with that. Uh, that'll take care of the masking for that section. And the next thing you want to do, you saw the Sony lens flare, um, this little sun coming down and out. That's keyframing. And uh, I'll post a video on keyframing up in a little bit. Um, to do keyframing, uh, to do this, the, sun the sun effect, um, you click on the puzzle piece, which is the, ev the uh, event effects. You click on Sony Lens Flare, add an OK, and uh, this is supposed to imitate a lens flare, but it really looks like a sun, to tell you the truth. So you want it to you want it to, you want it to start at the end and ricochet back to the end. So um, we started off here. Actually, you can put the version uh, down and the intensity down a bit. So it won't be that bright when it comes in, and you see the the node is uh, the node's here, so it's getting ready to go. And then you put you you can do it to the middle, so it stays there for a little while, and then go to the end. Depends what you want to do, and you see I kind of okay in between the masks. You see that that's probably why. All right, so you go in between the middle. Let's say that's about the middle. And you move it about to the middle. It's just gonna be right here. You can't see it because of the two masks. You can put it up a little bit, so it's not. And then you move it uh, the slided thing to the end, and then move it. Oops, can't really see it. All right, and then I'm gone. Yay! All right, <laughs> all right. And then you move um, it to to go where you want it to go. And again you can change it so it won't if it goes like that or like this, depending on what you want. So when you move it into the clip, it seems to move with the clip. And I put my hands in it. <laughs> Alright, um that's basically how you do that. And to make it go you make it go faster or slower um, oops, wrong one. Um, you can move the individual nodes closer to each other, and they'll go faster. See? And to make it go slower, you push them away from each other. And this is a very, very, very important key uh, uh, thing to know about keyframing. Um, this can very be very useful to your videos. And I hope you enjoy this video. And please comment, rate, and subscribe this video. And please don't forget to comment, and uh, I'll see you in a few hours to do another tutorial.